Hello everyone, Julie Deal Mooney here today to do a plan with me with my Cocoa Daisy inserts for week 23 of 2021, which is June the 7th through the 13th. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to white out all of the days of the week. Um, I will put stickers over them, but I just always white them out just in case a little bit of them might poke out from behind or if you if they are transparent stickers, you can see through them. Um, you can see that I messed up a little bit went over the line, but that's okay because I'll cover it up later as I get into doing those. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put the week of uh, in there and I thought about using that script alpha and putting week of fun. But really, I just like to have the dates up on the top. So I went with the transparent blue one, and I'm putting in June 7th through 13th here. And um, as you can see on the sheet, there are no dashes. And so what I did was I just took one of the eyes uh, when I got to the part that where I needed the dash, and I just cut the eye in a piece and I saved that other piece in case I wanted to do this again for another week. Um, I thought about doing the one but I thought I might need the one more than I needed the eye. So um, there we go. I have June 7th through 13th. And then the next thing that I did was I took a piece of the planner paper and I punched circles out of it with um, with my hole punch. It's a one and a half inch hole punch. Um, I had punched a few before I started with this. So I have seven of them. I'm going to use them for my days of the week. And so I just wanted to make sure that I had the circle, the text on the circle um, lined up correctly. And then I just used my pencil to make a mark. I'm just going to trim off part of the top of it um, just so that I have part of a circle for my days of the week. And so I went ahead and trimmed that first one and looked at it and it's a little big. Um, and so I wanted to trim a little bit more so I just eyeballed it with the scissors, cut off a little bit more, felt like that was pretty good. And so then I used that one as my template for the rest of them and I trimmed off all of the circles. So I'm just speeding this up a little bit and um, don't we all wish we could all do this this quickly. So now I have my seven partial circles and I'm going to run them through my Xyron sticker maker and if you don't have one of these oh my gosh I love it and if you have a grandchild oh my gosh well a grandchild that's a girl probably could be a boy but my granddaughter absolutely loves this machine she comes over she brings things and makes stickers out of them um, so it is a handy little tool you just run it through rub everything down peel off the clear paper and then they are sticky and so I did have the first three that I put in there kind of overlapped, but they were sticky enough. It didn't matter that they didn't have a little bit of sticky on one side of them. And because I had messed up um, with the whiteout a little bit, I am moving that semicircle up a little bit. Sorry about the binging noise. It's my computer. I'm not sure what's making it bing. But um, so yeah, I did put those up so that they would cover the line that separates the day. And at this point, I thought, oh my, I should punch my sheets because I hadn't done that beforehand because I get my loose inserts unpunched. So now I'm just going back in with the stickers from the uh, Planner Classified Kit and I, from Coco Daisy, and I'm putting those on each of my little partial circles. They're not quite half circles. And I really like the way that looked. It just gave it a little bit more oomph. And then I had some numbers that I had created. Um, I had more than I needed because when I was making them, I just made a whole set. And so um, I kind of liked the subtleness of these tiny little circle numbers. So I went ahead and used those for my uh, dates this week. And so now the next thing that I am doing is um, clipboards. I like having clipboards for all of my little items that need to be done every day and so it's really nice. I love these little clipboards that Coco Daisy gives you in the sticker kits and so I am just lining those up. Sometimes I move them around and some weeks like this I will line them all up like soldiers. So I only do that on Monday through Friday with my clipboards because Saturday and Sunday um, 
if I have a to-do list, it's going to be out on a counter and not my planner. So then when I have things that I really want to stand out, I will use the uh, alphas that are included in the kits. Um, and so for this one, um, it will say Della first day, but I want it to align to the right. So I'm starting with my last letter rather than my first because it's very difficult to get them all lined up correctly unless you start with the right hand side if you're aligning them on the right. And so that A was a little crooked so I had to pull it off and get it back. And I do use my tweezers for fussy little things like that and then bigger things I don't. I use, just use my fingers. Um, so I have a library steak dinner that night and um, the cute uh, uh, sticker says let's eat here so that was perfect for that and then down here I have um, I decided to use um, some of the word stickers and um, I like the one that said a good time because I have a Mardi Gras dress fitting and um, so I get to get together with my Mardi Gras sisters and we all you know we have to get fitted for our dresses but we stand around and talk while we're waiting because every you know you have to wait in between and so so that's just a really fun time so it's nice to be able to do things like that again so I'm very excited about that and I went really heavy with the green over in that corner of the spread but I don't think it's gonna bother me especially once I get more deco over there but there is a lot of green but you know so I love this sheet of stickers um, and I have a bill due on Thursday so um, one of them says due today so I just pulled off one of my stickers there and as you can see I went really crooked with that one so I had to shove it back up and I kind of bent it in the process but stickers are pretty forgiving if you do, if you pull it back up pretty quickly otherwise I would use undo but even then once I crumpled it I it flattened back out so I've got my bill that's due on Thursday um, it's paid automatically, but it's just nice to remember that that money's leaving my account that day. And then I wanted to use one of these stickers that had, it's like a tracker, but I don't need a tracker. And I use a Tombow whiteout mark, whiteout, what do you call that, whiteout roller, I guess. Um, and so I just cover that up and then I write on top of it because I have a meeting that day on Zoom. So I just want to make sure that I remember that. And then Thursday is the day that my timesheet is due to the accounting department. I have a really hard time remembering that, so I always write it down on Thursdays. So now I'm just going back to this sheet that um, is going to be revised in the July kits. They're making the icons a little bit smaller and they're changing it all up a little bit. And um, I'm just marking what days I have trash and recycle at work. And now I am just going to write in um, that we have active shooter training on Tuesday and it is Della's first day one of my employees so yeah that's kind of a uh, how do you feel if you go to work the first day and it's active shooter training um, might be a little interesting for her but you know um, but it's specific to my building so I'm very happy that we're getting to do that um, and so I have small group on Sunday and I think that is everything that I have scheduled already this week. And so I am going to go back and um, my payday is on Friday. And so I want to mark that. Not that I'll ever forget when my payday is um, because it's every Friday, which is interesting to get paid weekly. But um, yeah, so it's hard to forget because it's always, it's really nice because it's always coming up. And then I'm just going to use some of the icons and some of the deco. And so these, um, they're really page tabs, but I, I love the way they look in other people's planners, but I don't like that shape sticking out in mine. Um, I really do. I look at other people who do it. I think it looks really cute. I'm frustrated with it when I do it on mine. I just, it, it doesn't thrill me. So um, what's so great about it is then I have a page of stickers and I get two of each one of the stickers. So I've already used one of those eye, of the sunglass stickers. And that Saturday the 12th, I am hoping to go to the beach, so that's why the sunglasses are there. That's just to remind me that my goal in life is to go to the beach that Saturday. It's probably gonna be busy because the tourists are here, but whatever. 
Um, and now I am looking, I want to use one of these transparent stickers on my spread and I want it kind of to sit between Thursday and Friday and you can see if I sit it down right here that yellow is going to the, there's some small words in the middle and it's going to be really hard to read if I put it on that yellow. So I just go get my Tumbo um, whiteout roller and I just clear off that part of that line and then put it in between. You never even notice that there's whiteout behind it and it just makes that sticker look a little bit better. So um, I try to do that whenever I'm using those transparent stickers, if it's gonna cross one of the lines, especially if the line's darker. This one was just yellow, but but yeah, that's just a nice little trick with your uh, Tombow Whiteout Roller. And so now I'm just looking for some deco to add to it. And since um, that last sticker I put down says, life is meant for good friends and great adventures. And so I just kind of decided to go with the multicolored adventure theme as like a theme for this, um, this week. And so I am just pulling up little bits of deco to put here and there. And my goal in this is to leave spaces. See how I've left spaces on every day so that if something comes up, I can still put another sticker in there. But I've also got it decorated so that it looks cute as the week begins. So it's kind of a balance of trying to figure out how many stickers I want to put down, but leave enough space in case I need to add something else. And um, and this seems to be the, a good amount. And I just love that rainbow of color down there at the bottom. So there we have it. There is my week. It is all done. And like I said, I have space for everything. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.